Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to use custom heads up display or custom HUD if you want to do that. Now, this is going to be a little long because we're going to be using uh, both variables and strings here. So, don't know how to use those. Go watch those tutorials real quick and you'll know how to use them. For everyone else, let's get started. Okay. So let's get the obvious out of the way. Okay, let's get a heads up display going. So you got the basics here, you got your score, your team score, your playtime, all that. What we're going to do is set all these two variable. There we go. So now we're all set. <clears throat> okay, let's get some enemies spawning in here. something to work with. the obvious by this point. When you kill an enemy, you can add a variable. It's a simple one. And you can also add to res uh, player resource. Let's make this one two and I want this one. I'm going to go here. Kills. Make that one. And we'll label this as money. And we'll select our resource. <laughs> so now when we kill those enemies, they'll add to those. So that's one way to get our custom display up a little bit. Obviously, you know about that part. We're showing it off this time, so you know about it. <clears throat> well, let's change it up a little bit. Let's get rid of this part. Let's say you want to actually show money. Okay. We're going to be using this. We will make it a temper kill. going to use a book string. Okay. We're going to need a separate one. And this one we're going to make a dollar sign. We'll do here. Our dollar sign and then we're going to use the integer. Space in between. Instead of having that, we we'll use our string one. Oh no, string zero, I'm sorry. There we go. Uh, just a heads up, you have to build this every time you want it to increase, by the way, so it's not going to do it on its own. So you want it so that when you spawn in, it'll show the amount. And then you want it to do to build that every single time you kill an enemy. That's how you get that to work. When we spawn in, you see a dollar sign next to our integer. Okay. 
Okay, now watch the uh, one with the dollar sign on it. So there's one way to do that. So now you may look like you're actually getting money instead of just having you know, just a number there with the money and the number on top of it. Let's say you don't want that. Let's say you want. Let's say you want to go cheap. Use a number. Ten cents a kill. Be a cheap date. What the hell? And it's like our number. So now we spawn in. We can be really cheap with the kills. <laughs> So, there you go. Now you can make a cheaper dollar amount if you want to do that instead. <clears throat> and you can do this with many different symbols, by the way. You don't have to use that. You can just use... Um, you can put a percent. You can put half. Lira. Euros. All kinds of stuff. So, if you want to have something different, you can have that. So, that's another thing you can do with that. <clears throat> Another thing you could do is let's say you just want to have a, a couple of words on there or something like that. Okay. We'll do this. Uh, let me see. Let's say we do a superpower, but you don't want to show a number, you want to show a timer. Well, actually, no, sorry. Not a timer, but you want to show words on it. So, what we can do. String. Make a new one. So I'm gonna set that. Charging. And when this timer finishes. Say charged. Okay. And then we'll take a little input. I'm pressed. It'll say that again. And then we'll restart the timer. And that should be it. Let me go here. String two. That's what it is. Yes, it is. <clears throat> so now when you start, it'll say charging, and then when that timer's done, it'll say charged, and then you can use that to like a superpower, or if you want to use it for uh, like opening a door, or you want to say something else, you could do that.
you can do that and have it uh, be sort of a reference to, let's say, like a superpower you want to give the character, like a like an ultimate power, or you want to give him a power up, you want to turn him into a demon or something like that, you can use that for that as a reference. So if you don't want to show a timer there and you want them to just judge it based on that, you can do that. I just left this on so that way you can see the timer going down. So that's something else you can do with that. Another cool thing you can do is... Let's say you got a villain, and you want the villain to be very, very tricky, or very, uh, very vile, or, 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 or just something overall messed up. What you can do is this. You can obviously activate a certain switch somewhere. You can set up another heads-up display. Custom. You put these in the value sign. Trigger this and I'll disable this one. And we'll put another timer up here. Start a timer and when time is finished, it'll turn this back on. Check this out. This is good for like story purposes. Like if you want a single player campaign, you want to mess with the player, you can do this. trick you could do with that. <clears throat> and that's basically it. Now for the string build option, you can actually build a timer out of this. If you, you know, as long as you know how to build a string, it's real simple. If you know how to build one, you can just build a timer out of that and make it so it counts down. You can do that with it also. <clears throat> and that's basically it. So I hope you all found this helpful. Hope you all have fun with this because uh, this is great for single player campaign or maybe even a, a survival mode or anything you want. This gives you more options so you can be more dynamic with your uh, with your uh, your level designs. And with that being said, you all take care.